you can have a great beef dinner in no time at all. Well, almost no time at all. Beef. It's what's for dinner. Welcome back to another episode of The Last Boy Scout Survival and Bushcraft. I'm your host, Scotty Nias, and today we're going to be talking about hobo dinners. Okay, the first thing that I want to talk about is your aluminum foil selection. Okay, I recommend heavy duty. Why? Tell me why. Because heavy duty is going to help trap in the heat and the moisture that you want inside of your foil dinner to be able to cook it and not release the steam. Now, one specific method that I'm going to demonstrate for you is by triple wrapping your foil dinner. In addition, I'm going to make sure that I have a barrier of parchment paper in between my foil and my food to make sure or prevent any potential leaching from the aluminum foil. So first things first, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna pull out three separate uh, rectangular or square shaped, we'll go rectangular, pieces of aluminum foil. About Yay, dude. Next thing I'm going to do is pull out an appropriate amount of parchment paper to act as that barrier. Some of you may be wondering which side of the aluminum foil should be on the outside. The more shiny side or the dull side. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter! It's going to function exactly the same. No matter how you've been taught, no matter what you've been instructed, science is the same, it's the same material on either side. It's science. So you've got your aluminum foil. You got your parchment paper. Next thing you're gonna do is start preparing your meal. Now, you can do this however you want. Uh, before going out to the field, you can prepare these meals and pack them and take them with you. Or if you would just like to enjoy the experience of doing it out in the field with all the chopping and the peeling and the cutting and the yada, 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 you're welcome to do that as well. But for today, I have pre-cut and prepared everything I'm going to include inside of my foil packet. All right. All right. The ingredients that we're working with today is first and foremost, ground beef. Now you can use any other type of ground meat that you want. Uh, you can use whole non-ground meat chopped up meat, cubed meat, however you want. But just remember, however long it would typically take to cook that meat uh, elsewhere or any other ways, uh, you're gonna have to compensate for the cook time on the meat depending on the type of meat or how the meat is prepared. Ground beef cooks pretty quickly, so I don't have to spend hours uh, or minutes over longer than I want to wait to cook and prepare this meal. So in addition to ground beef, I've also got baby carrots, right? And I've got some diced sweet onions, as well as some sliced baby bell or portobello mushrooms. Some EVOO, some smoke bros, honey badger, seasoning. Uh, this stuff has 
everything that I want in it. It's got the salt, it's got the garlic, it's got the smoked pepper flavor that I want, profile that I want. So this will be the only seasoning that I use. All right, I'm gonna take my handy dandy tool, carefully slice into the packaging. Without slicing my aluminum and parchment paper. And after uh, getting meat on my tool, I'm going to make sure that this bad boy gets cleaned off uh, very well afterwards before I place it back in its sheath because I don't want to spread uh, bacteria and other nasty gunk all over my knife. Now, before handling food, uh, you also want to clean your dirty, filthy mitts with uh, cool or hot running water as well as soap to make sure you don't have any nasty bugs up on your mitts. The mitts are clean. Now we're gonna go for it. And also, when you're adding your ingredients, you don't want to overdo it on the ingredients by putting too much of any specific ingredient or, or all together. Otherwise, you're just going to either have to add more aluminum foil to pack all that stuff up, or you're going to have to disperse it out so that way it can cook evenly, uh, correctly, and in the time that you plan on cooking, it's not going to be underdone. Uh, last thing I'm trying to do is get anybody sick with food poisoning from undercooking their meal. All right, let's get down to the nitty gritty. Uh, I'm gonna fold this bad boy up by folding in the corners. Okay. And then I'm gonna take Fold this first section up. And your inner layer of foil, you don't have to stress so much about getting that good seal in. Obviously, I packed the crap out of this thing. And so, what we're gonna do is after we fold it in, we're gonna do a reverse fold, okay? So flip it over, and we're basically gonna do the same thing. Folding in with the long portion. And this time I'm gonna almost do like a Christmas wrapping foil. Folding that in, and then folding this over and up, okay? Pulling this in, pulling this in. All right, so you can see that, and then folding it up over like that. And then one more time, flipping that over. And when you use less food, right, let's say I used a half a pound of beef and then half amount of the other ingredients that I used. And uh, by the way, uh, the amount of the onions, the carrots, and the mushrooms was approximately one cup worth per ingredient that I added to one pound of ground beef, okay? All right. So typically, when I use less ingredients, I'm able to fold this up to the point to where I can fold and roll these ends of the long portion in. It creates a tighter seal. I don't really need to do that because I'm doing the triple, the triple foil fold, okay? So once again, I'm gonna fold almost like a Christmas wrapping type thing on the ends. And then this time, I'm gonna roll a tight roll rather than fold, all right? And press it up into it. Same thing, hopefully you can see this, right? Just gonna roll. 
roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. Okay. Voila. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there is your completed dinner. Stay tuned for our next episode where we are going to be headed to the fire pit, uh, starting a nice bushcraft fire, letting it settle down to a excellent bed of coals. And then we are going to be cooking our hobo dinner on the coals and then showing you what it's supposed to look like once it's all done and then we'll be doing a taste test trial okay so stay tuned for that episode that will be our next one so that's going to do it for this episode of the last boy scout survival and bushcraft i want you all to stay safe stay vigilant knowledge is your weapon be prepared thanks for tuning in to another episode of the last boy scouts if you like what you see hit that like button please subscribe and stay tuned for more from the last boy scouts survival and bushcraft.